What is up guys, Kieran from Magic Motorcycles here again. Um, today, I'm gonna to show you a bit of the workshop. So a lot of guys in the forums are asking me to do a little bit of a workshop, sort of walk around, I suppose. Um, and I kind of put it off a little bit because we were still doing stuff. So a lot of this place is still under construction. Um, all the work here is done myself. So I was kind of trying to balance time between family. Um, doing this place and actually working on bikes as well. So some of the future plans of doing for this, things like places for our CNC machines, 3D printing stuff for that. So where we are based now, where we sort of have a home office, we can move everything um, down to here. Probably the only thing I'll leave is my home PC because I've just bought myself uh, a really, really nice laptop actually, um, which can do all video editing and 3D design stuff for that. From the office, I don't need to move my desktop anymore. So with that, I'm going to quickly show you around and uh, see what you guys think of it. Let me know. I'm going to start in the office area. It's a little bit messy, um, but basically this is what I was talking about with doing the spaces for the CNC machines. So we've got one of our 3D printers up there. It's a Tronxy. Um, nothing really done with it, just sort of standard. We use that sort of prototype bits, things like that. Um, but down here, what we're going to do, once we sort through that stuff, um, we want to totally build a cabinet with um, plexiglass doors on so that we can obviously see all the stuff that's in there um, working away. It's also a massive space saver because we're not going to use that area under there for anything else than storage. So instead of using storage, we might as well put machines down there so we can have our CNC machines down there, 3D printers on top, couple monitors. Um, we're quite happy with that. So moving on to the next bit is the desk. So quick one about these desks, just built out of 4x2 timber, IKEA countertops on top, and yeah, we've only got TV set up currently, so this will be the place um, where we'll be working in here. So we'll have a TV up on that wall there, um, monitor on each side, although this being my side, I probably won't bother setting up the desktop computer, because um, I'll have my laptop, so that's probably only be a desktop computer this side. And we've got a sofa there just for chilling out, eating whatever xbox in here um that we use for tv stuff like that so going from the office if we go into this section here this is sort of where the magic happens um again need to organize a lot of stuff but the shelves they're also built by me so same thing sort of four by two and then 18 millimeter ply on top um just sort of thing same with the workbenches um, so I've plonked my helmet for now, uh, next week we're actually getting a pillar drill put in here. Um, and you can see we've got some of the wiring to sort out as well, so there's a loop there um, that's been left out for one of our switches because going underneath this unit uh, we're going to have a sort of music set up here, so everything underneath here is going to be a uh, 12 volt set up. So <clears throat> tucked behind that wall is uninsulated, that's for a reason. Um, that is because we're gonna have a diesel heater going to here and the exhaust is gonna go through the metal wall. So instead of having any sort of insulation around it before, when well, it's closed up, not gonna lose much heat there anyway uh, in the winter. So we're gonna have a diesel heater set up that side and a diesel heater set up that side. So um, one port from this heater into the office space, one port out to here. And then with the ideas we're heat up, we're gonna have one, uh, just one port going straight onto the other bit because obviously it's a bigger space. Um, so essentially that's the plan with that. And the front of this is gonna be covered up. So we're gonna have um, a car stereo on here, one of those touchscreen ones. And just a couple of light speakers here. And then just a access cupboard over on this side um, to sort that up. Obviously I've got bits and things to move around so we're getting there um, I started doing this in January this build so it's been a little while um, but yeah I've got some storage under here so I'll turn this into a storage space at the moment there's just my uh, tube bender in there and vice over on the workbench got a tool set up over here which I know the top is a bit messy at the moment but I do try and keep everything organized in the drawers so I know where everything is at all times uh, got a MIG welder 
Um, reason I went for this one is because the electrical setup around here that happily runs off a 13 amp plug. And for the type of work that we'll end up doing, don't really need anything else sort of bigger than that. And then, so I turn around here, got a project bike hidden in the corner, which you'll see at some point. Um, put it this way, I'll give a little sort of giveaway with this. There's a reason that the welder is there and there's a reason that the tube bender is there and it's for this bike here. So that'll be coming up at some point. So turning around from that, obviously got SV build, We've got a rather ramp which is empty at the moment. Um, and if you notice some of the wiring that was around on the corners we're not finished yet, it's because we are just waiting to complete a ring circuit around the top. So we have two more double sockets come down here on the wall. Uh, pretty much the same as this side. So we'll have enough in here and if we do need to, extension lead. Um, but we'll have plenty of sockets in here. So with that, that's most of the uh, most of the build. The only thing I really want to sort out as the last job is these uh, these doors because obviously there's a big gap in them. That's just how they're, how they're built, that's how they come. So going into detail with this place, what this essentially is, is two metal car garages um, put into one. So I paid £1,200 for each of these garages and then laying the base down cost me about another three or four hundred pounds each. So you'll see where the split is, um, just there. This is where the two sort of join up. There's a, you won't notice because there is a metal um, roofing that covers the joint. So we've got no leaks or anything here. We've leaked tests a lot. We've sealed every single screw that's on this place. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Um, the floor thickness is a total of uh, 24 millimeters OSB underneath. And then we've got this flooring on top, uh, which does the job for now. We do plan to change it, um, but it's solid. So we can get the box on, we can get bikes on. It doesn't move or shake or bend or creak or anything like that. So we've not had an issue with that. So going onto the walls here, um, this is just three millimeter ply. Um, and then behind this, we've got insulation and we've got bands going down as well uh, to hold this too. It's mainly just to look the part, I suppose. Make space look nicer. Do let me know down in the comments if I should paint it though. I'm still undecided if I should do just the place white, make it look a bit bigger, or it's going to be too bright in here then. Um, lighting is uh, the baton lights, LED baton lights. Uh, I bought a pack of 10 and they came to about eight pounds each. Um, and then the conduit is obviously cheapest chips to get. So I think I've got uh, 25 three meter lengths of conduit. And I think that's about 30 pounds for that. So um, big savings by doing the work ourselves, put it that way, but just a lot of time. As I said, we started this in January. So just a quick one, how this workshop came about is I used to have a houseboat down here and we built that um, and we built this shed on top and we had this sort of a storage shed for our bikes, tools and, and then bike materials as well. Um, when we found out that my um, girlfriend was pregnant, we got rid of the houseboat and then it was kind of a thought of what should we do next? So yeah, after that we started building this place and then uh, basically, we've moved into a house now, no more boat, we've got this big sort of workshop to show for it. So we had a little bit of funds available to actually just buy everything out, which is exactly what I did. I went out and I planned the whole thing and I bought the lot in one go, um, which I'll put pictures up of and you'll see it was an absolute tip, trying to move around and do everything in that space. But the reason behind it was buy it while the money's there. Um, so everything that's built is paid for, is in cash. Um, not any sort of debt, no finance, no nothing. So this is all paid out, right? So what we pay here is we pay for the land rental, which is a lot cheaper than you think. So I won't be able to break down the cost too much of what it what it cost me, but it must be at least at least twelve thousand to get everything done proper, get everything signed off, etc. Um, 
is it worth it? Yes, would I do it again? No. Um, I didn't realise how much of a task it was to um, try and build something like this completely on my own. So that was that was the only thing was the time that it took. Um, you can see there's a lot of effort gone into this place for one person and trying to work around that as well. So we've only literally just finished that office space. That's why it's still sort of moving around. Um, so yeah guys, let me know what you think. I'll just finish this video with a nice quick walkthrough of what we see when we come through here every day. Um, obviously just got to tidy everything up. But this is our workspace. This is our sort of pride and joy. And this is where we sort of run everything from. So now you can see behind the scenes of what it looks like. So yes guys, please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, next video that's going to be coming up is going to be the SV with wiring the headlight. Uh, I'll do detailed diagrams on that and how to's and everything else that can be sort of in-depth as, as I can so you can see everything and how to do everything. Um, reason I've done it this video is because obviously I've been asked for this um, and I've also I take a little bit of time away from that because we've had uh, a couple of delayed deliveries which is obviously a pain. Um, so we've got, uh, if you remember I mentioned in the last video about the brake lines. Um, we've got these two, these have arrived, this top one hasn't, so I'm not going to take the two bottom ones off until I get this one and I can line this one up. Um, and then yeah, there's a couple other bits we're still waiting for as well, but not too much. And then the battery, the battery's going to arrive this afternoon because we have to get a new battery for this because the old one's just kaput. There we go, please keep a lookout for other videos coming up. And then again, as I said, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, you're massively supporting this channel must be supporting us um we are a small business it's mainly me and my girlfriend that do this uh we've got a little nine week old baby at home now so um trying to make family life work plus make this work is a complete new challenge to us we're loving it but yeah <laughs> we could do with uh we could do that with all the help we can get in terms of subscribers if we're going to keep this thing going um, which we really really want to keep this going by the way we do want to show everyone sort of the tips and tricks behind it and what we do you know um, you'll see her on camera at some point so yes thank you very much thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it